Aloha, it's Tom McAuliffe with Grassroot TV. I'm here with President Jamie Story of the Grassroot Institute of Hawaii. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Jamie, I'm wondering, you know, we hear a lot of talk about transparency, both at the federal level and the state level, and even, and even here locally. What is transparency and why is it important? Well, we're not talking about the kind of transparencies that your elementary school teacher wrote on that with the overhead, but we are talking about um, giving taxpayers the ability um, for the money that their policymakers spend to be transparent, um, to to show them how they're spending taxpayer dollars, to show them um, more easily how they're voting on bills, um, so that taxpayers can better hold their elected officials accountable. And how is Hawaii doing as compared to other states? The legislature took a big step forward in 2008, I'm sorry, 2007, by passing House Bill 166, which requires the beginning, kind of a pilot, of a website that will display some government expenditures. Um, I believe it's only grants and, and awards over, and contracts, over $25,000 each. Um, so that's a start, but there's lots of waste, fraud, and abuse, unfortunately, that goes on on amounts that are much smaller than that. You know, waste two hundred dollars here for dinner, or waste a couple thousand here for an unnecessary trip. And taxpayers need to be able to see all of those things. And how does Hawaii compare to other states? Are other states ahead of us as far as implementing these kind of transparency initiatives? Uh, some states haven't passed any laws, so we're certainly ahead of those states. However, some, uh, probably a dozen or so are miles ahead of us on transparency. There are some states that have websites now that post every single state expenditure online. So you can see not only who got the multi-million dollar government contracts, but you can see what the governor's office spent on donuts. And, and really that's the level of detail we need. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you mentioned before, and I've read on the Grassroot website, a little bit about a thing called fiscal notes. What are they, and, and, and what's the deal with that? Well, fiscal notes, um, or the lack thereof, are one of the major problems we have uh, with Hawaii lacking transparency. Uh, just to give you a little background, a fiscal note, or what is sometimes called a fiscal impact statement, is a piece of paper that a legislator will get when they receive a bill to vote on it, and they can look at it and it says how much that bill will cost, or in some cases, save taxpayers. Uh, every state legislature in the entire country, plus the United States Congress, uses fiscal notes except for Hawaii. So our legislators are literally voting on hundreds, maybe thousands of bills each session without knowing precisely what their financial impact will be on taxpayers. Obviously that's very irresponsible. Uh, not only is that irresponsible and not only does that maybe cause bills to be passed that that normally we might think is too expensive. I mean, you and I have a budget. We don't just get to spend money without looking at price tags in the store. We look at the prices and we decide if we can afford it. Um, our legislature doesn't do that, and that's a problem. But another problem is that because we don't have fiscal notes, we can't hold legislators accountable. Um, I would love to do a study where we add up all the votes a legislator took and how much each one of those votes cost taxpayers and then we rank legislators by how much of our money they voted to spend. But we can't do that until we know how much each one of those votes costs. Now you were telling me off camera that some municipalities and some states just open up their check registers so everybody can see them. Yes. Um, like I said, there are, there are several states throughout the country that either through um, a, a law passed by the legislature or even through the uh, governor's executive order have established these um, these statewide websites to look at expenditures. Um, in places where maybe the state was short of grasping and embracing such a move, um, some individual legislators or individual governors or even individual agency heads of some states have voluntarily put their own budget, office budget or, or agency budget online. Um, in Texas, now in, in Hawaii we only have one school district, uh, unfortunately. In Texas, they have over 1,000 school districts, and, and there has been a, a, a movement in the past to try to pass a law statewide that would require every school district to post their check registers online. That hasn't passed, um, but because there, at the same time now, there's been this 
kind of grassroots movement to um, to pressure school districts to to voluntarily post their check registers online. So you have a parent or a taxpayer go up to the school board meeting and say, hey, can we do this? Here's some other school districts that have done it. They say it doesn't cost anything. Um, let's do it. And then they do. And I think now in Texas, I think there's over 100 school districts, including Dallas and Houston, two of the largest ones, that have posted all of their spending online. Well, let's hope you and the Grassroot Institute can make that happen here in Hawaii. Um, after all, it is our money. And tell me a little bit about, you've just announced kind of a, a, a new transparency and accountability initiative for the next year. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, uh, we, um, our two main centerpieces of this initiative will be web, two websites. One is called Hawaii Votes, hawaiivotes.org. And um, there's a little placeholder up there right now, but, but by session it'll be up and running. And it will allow, it's free to use, any citizen, anyone in the world actually, can go to Hawaii Votes and find out exactly what bills um, have been filed, have been voted on, uh, what the bottom line impact of those bills is, you know, flat out in three sentences, what does this bill do in plain language. And you can even see how legislators voted on the bills. You can pull up a single legislator and see how they voted on every education related bill or, or any other type of, of bills that interest you. So it's really a pretty exciting website and we'll be excited to and roll it. And for those who don't speak government ease, it will be in plain language? It will be in plain language. So it won't say referencing section of, of <laughs> such and such bill. It'll it'll just say, hey, here's what it does. This is this will create this new agency, this will add five new jobs. I mean who knows? But right, that's right. what it'll say. And then what about your other website? The other one is Hawaii Sunshine.org. So we have Hawaii Votes and Hawaii Sunshine. Hawaii Votes provides legislative transparency. Hawaii Sunshine will provide financial transparency. And um, again, there's a placeholder up there right now. We'll do a big announcement once we have the full site up and running. But basically what we're going to do is, is a bunch of open records requests. We're going to get uh, public information uh, from various government agencies at the city, at the county, and, and state level on spending. And we've already done one example of that. We've requested, actually we've requested several. The one we've received back so far is from the city of Honolulu. Uh, we've requested to see the number of dollars that have been spent on advertising to promote the uh, passenger rail. And we, I don't think they included all the numbers because I don't think they included uh, consulting contracts and things, but they did include all of the advertising dollars. And it's over $400,000, most of which is just in the, in the past five to six months. Um, it's, that's just so exciting and so so outstanding. Um, if there's anything that, that our viewers can do to help the Grassroot Institute, what would it be? Let their legislators know, let their city council know that they want this? or Absolutely. You know, like I said, th these websites are a work in progress, but please visit them. They'll give you an idea of what we're trying to do. And, and hopefully they'll inspire you to, to start checking back regularly once session gets started and, and they're in full full function. Uh, and then I would say, yes, like I said, you know, we, we would love if there were a bill passed that required total transparency at the, at the state level. That might be a few years off. In the meantime, why don't you call your state senator or state representative and say, hey, why don't you set a good example by putting your own budget, office budget, online? That's taxpayer dollars too, and maybe that'll start kind of a, um, a snowball effect that that will will end up uh, you know with the grassroots movement that accomplishes almost as much as an entire statewide program would. Outstanding. Jamie, thank you so much. Thank Aloha. you.